This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome to Grounded. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily beat spiders. Let's get to it. So to do this, it's pretty easy, but there's a few things to keep in mind before you do it. First off, don't fight more than one at a time. Second off, throw down one of your little lean-tos somewhere close by. They're super cheap to make. They're just three clover leaf and two sprigs. Super cheap. Throw them down. Use them to save your spot just in case you die because you're probably going to die a few times until you get the hang of doing this. You can use whatever weapon you want to use. Use armor if you want, but you don't need it because the trick to the... Well, it's not really a trick. You just telegraph their movement is pretty easy to do. You also want to do it in a nice open area because when you get into tight spaces and you're just starting to learn how to do this, it can be a little sketchy. You want to have plenty of room to move around. Try not to do it on hills and stuff like that so we're gonna see if we can get this one's attention here and we're just gonna dodge that attack here and we're gonna let it come up on us and then you want to get in close and you want to try to stay as close as possible to it and see there as long as you stay close you can dodge its attacks it's got a relatively small attack cone and you can just walk around and stay close if you get too far away block and block its attack like that and if you get a perfect block and you time it just right you won't take any damage for the attack and then basically all you want to do is just stay as close as possible to it don't let it get too far from you and you can dodge pretty much all of its attacks see there and then I'm just going to spear it to death using a simple newbie noob spear look how close I was to its attack there it's got a really, really, really small cone. Here you go. That's it. That's all you have to do. Once again, I made that look pretty easy. You can see I took a hit there, right there at the beginning. You can take a hit or two. Well, one hit. If you don't heal, um, you can't take two. But make sure you have some bandages with you. Make smoothies. You can make smoothies out of anything. They're good for a quick heal like that. If, just in case you, uh, you, you take too much damage too quickly. And the key to it is just to stay close to them, stay close to the inside of their legs, and you can uh, just dodge their attacks. Killing the wolf spiders is a, a lot more difficult than killing the orb weavers. However, it can be done, and it, with a little bit of practice, you don't even need armor to do it. The key to beating the wolf spiders is nailing the perfect block when you need to. Using the strategy we use with the orb weavers, where you stay in close to them, tight to their legs, to their one side, works really well most of the time, but not all of the time. The the real way to beat them and to beat them flawlessly is to master the perfect block. The downside is that this game is an early access game and there is something that I have noticed and that is that you don't always see the attacks of the wolf spider. Sometimes the attacks happen and the animation doesn't happen. It doesn't happen all the time, but there are times when it does happen. This can cause you to get really frustrated and just want to, you know, rage quit, but it is possible to beat them. One of the things that I advise most of all is if you're going to try to fight one of these things, make sure you put down a lean-to close by to where you're going to fight it. Not right up on it, but close by. Uh, if it gets too close to it, we've seen that it will attack the lean-to. If it's just, if you spawn on it or real close to it and you manage to kite the wolf spider too close to it it will just attack the lean to and that's going to leave you even more angry than dying multiple times so put it a little bit of distance from it don't kite it near it and practice your perfect blocking you can use a lot of different insects to practice the perfect blocking but honestly you're gonna have to get used to fighting the wolf spider itself to be able to get better at fighting it so you just need to take all your armor off because the thing shreds your armor and get in there and just practice practice fighting it using some of the tactics that we use for the orb weaver and just working on blocking when you have to because you can't always dodge the attacks from this thing. A perfect block will block all damage, even the damage on the jump. Uh, it's once again, it's difficult to do, but it is doable and it prevents all poison. Now, if you just hold block, you will only take a little bit of damage. 
You will also take a lot of poison damage, uh, but it won't one shot you. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you all found this helpful. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my link group, Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.